Hi there. What a joy it is to be free. I'm out with the traffic. It's Facebook Live, the outside broadcast. Or Freedom Zone, as we now like to call our clogged roads. Well, I was going to be offering my book to you once again, Take Back Control, A Guide to Personal Freedom by Dr. Tristram Fabergé. That's, that's, that's me, the newly appointed Minister for Freedom. However, um, after the incident at the Bear Pit Theatre with the so-called journalist, we've had to put the book on hold. It's no longer free. It's no longer out there, available for all. But it will be full of worldly wisdom of how, about how we can shake off the shackles of Europe and become truly free in the English sense. So, what am I doing here? Well, I've been chatting with the various drivers, the truck drivers, the car drivers, as they go hither and thither, and they've told me precisely what they think. They were delivering, if you will, common sense. To a man, they said, give us more paperwork, more barriers between ourselves and our destination. That's how we truly experience freedom. One fellow was trying to get to Germany. Oh dear. <laughs> I suggested that he might like to drive his load to Australia, which is so much closer and so much more English. Well, now, I've just come back from the party conference in Manchester, where all the talk was of levelling up. And at the Ministry for Freedom, we're right behind this initiative. We're going to be levelling up freedom. We'll be more than free. Reckless, if you will. Thoughtless, in fact. English. We're for freedom. Now, what does that mean? It means, of course, restricting our liberties. We can't buy traditional English Xmas food, for example. <laughs> Why? Because we respect the freedom of turkeys. Not Turkey. Oh, no. We still remember Gallipoli. Freedom for edible birds everywhere. Of course, in Nazi-occupied Europe, they will still be killing turkeys all over the place. But not here. Oh, no. Pigs too. Yes, we're giving them freedom. Hundreds of them are being freed from their fate as a sausage. They're being dumped in skips. And what do skips signify? Pig heaven. That's where they're going. Truck drivers. Now, well, there's, there's, there's fewer trucks on the road, of course, now. We're free of that nuisance, delivering all that nasty smelling French croissant and electricity. Of course, we planned this all along to ensure that the air is free of foreign languages and no more finding motorway service stations filled with Hungarian transport. I wasn't reshuffled. Obviously, this is a vote of confidence in me. I'm flattered, of course. I turned up to number 10 just in case the, uh, the foreign office was available. Happily, dear Liz Truss will do a much, much better job than I would. What with all her experience in promoting Mrs Kirkham's Lancashire cheese and subduing the Faroe Islands. The PM looked his Churchillian best as he leaned across his desk and said to me, who the hell are you anyway? <laughs> I laughed all the way back to the home of the ministry, Farage House, leading the way to liberty. <laughs> the nasty European universal credit payment is being withdrawn, of course, and we're all shouting hurrah for that. It's trapped people for too long in dependency, and what we want is for the poor to take 
back control, to have the chance to hustle and not beg. Freedom from want will be replaced with freedom from dependency. We're restoring individual liberty to say to your children, go out and find work. Take the harvest in, like in the old days, interned at the paper shop or local county line, which, which I thought was a bus service. <laughs> Until dear Michael Gove assured me it's a means by which essential medicines, or drugs as he calls them, can be brought to the homes of government ministers under the cover of darkness. So, as we draw this Facebook Live to a close, oh, no, 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 wait, Martin's here. Hello, Martin. Martin's my spad, of course. What's that, Martin? Oh, you've applied for an HGV test. Well, that's very open of him, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Given that HGV is an unpleasant transmissible European disease. Martin and I have been working on a new freedom song. <laughs> a hymn, if you will, to Lord Farage, as I hope he will soon become. I should like, with your permission, to share it with you. <clears throat> Oh, Nigel, Nigel, you are a perfect fit. Don't listen to remainers who say you are a...